This is a size 18 hook, and we're going to use orange thread for the base. One of the problems most beginners have is they have a tendency to finish the fly and have everything crowded on the head. So what I always do is I teach people to tie, to tie the thread in over the hook point, wrap it forward, and then come back and expose the hook for every part of the fly that is in front of the, the, the abdomen. So I'm going to come back a half a hook eye for the head and another hook eye for the hackle. And I'm not going to let any part of the body get onto that bare hook. Now I'm over wrapping just like I'm over wrapping and bringing the thread back to the bend of the hook. These little guys have an orange tinge to them, so I use orange thread and I make about two or three wraps. I expose, keep exposed about two or three wraps at the back of the hook before I put on the body. Now, you can dub muskrat onto this thread uh, just like uh, you would do on any dub body, but there's a way you can we've come up with that it goes a little faster. And you can buy this polypropylene thread at almost any supermarket in the sewing, in the sewing section. And I find this works very well to make a body instead of dubbing. It's polypropylene, so it floats. And it comes in, you buy a whole selection of it. And it comes in colors that imitate everything from crane flies to sulfurs to blueing olives. Now I, I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to, just using the pinch technique, I'm going to mount it about a hook eye ahead of the bend of the hook. So I leave that. that uh, back part exposed, and I'm going to pull it back so that I, the end of the thread is even with the end of the body. That makes for a nice cylindrical body, and I don't have to cut anything. And I'm just going to overwrap it. This is another one of those little Lehigh flies that is simple to tie and looks the same from all angles. Now, all I do is take this and wrap it forward. Makes a very nice, slim body. As I said, when I first designed this fly, I used to use muskrat. But I think this works pretty well. Now, I noticed when I was collecting insects that you really don't see the wings on these crane flies when they're on the water. I'm going to tie this off. Now the only part left to do is hackle. And I like to use Andalusian, which is hard to get. Uh, if you can't find an, an Andalusian, you use a dun or some kind of a splash. Uh, the legs on a crane fly are, a, are really long, so you tie the legs on this fly a little longer than you normally would. This is Andalusian. Prepare the feather by cutting the stuff I'm not going to use off and exposing the stem and the bottom. Again, using the pinch technique, I'm just going to tie in my feather. And I pulled it back so I didn't go to the trouble of cutting it. Take my hackle plier. Always, I like to put the hackle plier 
In a straight line with a stem, not on a right angle. I think it gives less twist. And as I said, these legs are a lot longer than on most insects. And they, they don't have that many legs, so I'm very sparse with them. Tie it off. And whip finish it. One reason I like to hand whip finish is when you get a couple of wild fibers hanging around, you can push them back with the whip finish. Rainfall. 